Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. Now some people have asked me, is it possible to have more than one Fool of the Week? Well yes, we even have more than one Fool in one video. Here are Fool of the Week, Jacob Rees-Mogg and Catholic, and that term is doing a lot of heavy lifting here, attack the Pope on asylum seekers and immigration. But we have another fool, Mattis Hamed from the Tory Graph, claiming that Labour have decriminalised illegal migration. I frankly don't know who's the bigger fool. Have a listen. It seems to be just incompetent not to be able to get the wording right of a decision that you yourself have made. Exactly. It's, it's trickery. Um, he used the term illegal migration. The Home Office was more honest in July when it put out a tweet calling it irregular migration. In effect, what we're seeing in his actions is the decriminalisation of illegal immigration. When these people talk about illegal immigration, what they're generally talking about is asylum seekers. But in reality, if you want to use the term illegal migration, which is, which is incorrect, it's irregular migration. But if you want to use the term illegal migration, we're generally talking in reality about people who have, for example, overstayed their visa. The visa stipulated a certain amount of time. The people didn't respect that. Then we're talking about people who have arrived on a visa for, for example, a student visa, and they have worked, which is a breach of their visa conditions. Maybe they have arrived on a visa to do a certain job, and then they're doing a different job. So that is so-called illegal migration, not asylum seekers. I think it's interesting. You say they're, they're the most vulnerable. They're not the most vulnerable. They're working-age men, most of them. I'm sorry to keep stopping this, but this guy just talks absolute tripe. Okay, so there isn't a condition for asylum to be granted asylum. That is, well, <laughs> you have to be a woman, a child, or above a certain age. If you are working age, then that's no longer valid. Like, tell that to a gay man in Uganda <clears throat> who's arriving from Uganda and wants to claim asylum in Britain. Oh, no, you're not, you, you may be gay and you may be persecuted in Uganda, but uh, you're working age, so that, <laughs> that renders you, your claim invalid. They're not the women, they're not the children, they're people who pay traffic, people traffickers to, to bring them here illegally. The great irony of this is that this decriminalisation is happening by Labour using discretionary powers in the Illegal Migration Act. It's not illegal. If, if it was illegal, then these people would be in prison. The reason it's not illegal is because the punishment for overstaying your visa or ab ab abusing the, the visa system is deportation, not prison. I keep asking this question. These people keep saying it's illegal to cross the channel. It's not illegal. The Tories may claim it is, but it's not actually illegal. If it was illegal, then these people would be arrested and put in prison. Why has nobody been arrested and put in prison for crossing the channel? See, this is the problem here. The Tories use rhetoric, believing and knowing that the public don't understand what that rhetoric actually means. If you were actually to sit down with a Tory behind closed doors, they would say, yes, of course, illegal migration isn't a real thing. But we use it for political purposes. As soon as you start processing them, you are providing these illegal migrants an amnesty because the point of that act was to was to make the, the actual act of coming here criminal. As soon as you... But, you, but, but that was a pile of crap because it would have been in breach of international conventions and it made no sense under the law. Ignore that. There's no criminality in it. You've decriminalised it. He's afraid. We've become so dehumanised around the way in which we perceive certain types of of migrants. And I once again, and I never thought that I'd be doing this in front of Jacob, must revert to the Pope's script. He talked of people who are crossing seas and deserts to find a place where they can live in peace and security. Yes. These are evil, axe-wielding individuals. T Tessa, these people are safe in France. Exactly. They're already yes. safe. We've been through and this, If Jacob. the Holy Father wants them so much, he can have them in the Vatican. Okay, okay we... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to this. Jacob Rees-Mogg speaks more Latin than the people. <laughs> he's, he's, he wants to stay in Vatican City. <laughs> They're not even passing through Vatican City, but he, he said, well, they can stay in the Vatican. These people don't speak Latin. They have no connection to the Vatican. Look, either Jacob Rees-Mogg is thick 
which begs the question, what sort of people do does <laughs> Eaton produce? Or, Dave, or Jacob Rees-Mogg is a lying charlatan. So which is it? He's thick or he's a charlatan? Maybe it's a bit of both. Because he knows, he's not stupid, he knows that the reason people arrive in Britain, and he's been told this, I don't know how many, how many times, about a hundred times, people arrive in Britain because they have some sort of connection to Britain. Maybe they speak the language. These people don't speak Latin. <laughs> or I, I presume they don't speak Latin. So there's no very little or no connection to Vatican City. Why would somebody want to stay in Vatican City if they don't speak the language? Why would somebody want to stay in Vatican City if they have no f friends or family there? So they don't want to stay in France. They don't want to stay in Belgium. They don't want to stay in Germany. They don't want to stay in Vatican City because they have no connections to those places. They have the, and they don't speak the language. Generally, you go to where your family are. You go to where your community is. That's where you feel safe, at home, or a sense of home. Does Jacob rees not understand that, or is he pretending not to understand that? Vatican City, get the Pope. Yeah, the Pope can take them. This is about distracting the public. This is about redirecting the conversation against people who are talking in a positive way. Look, I'm an atheist, and I'm more of a Catholic than Jacob Rees-Mogg is, because I understand what the Pope is saying here. He's talking about treating people with humanity. I know this is impossible for somebody like Jacob Rees-Mogg. Treating people with humanity, what the hell is that? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> they didn't teach us that in Eton. But the Pope is saying we need to treat people with respect. These people are crossing deserts and seas to get to a place where they feel safe. They don't feel safe in France in the sense that they, they're not going to be attacked, but they, feel se they don't have a sense of community. They don't feel at home. They're living in a tent. They, don't want, they want to get to Britain where they know friends and family. They speak the language. They can build their lives in a way that they probably can't in France. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think, and I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week.